Community leaders and lawmakers are pushing for immediate action after more disturbing discoveries at Sunset Memorial Park Cemetery. Jen Boniza follows up. Dozens of broken headstones and a three-foot-high pile of dirt and rubble is all that's left of the homeless camp that once sat in the corner of Sunset Memorial Park Cemetery. It made no sense to desecrate it that bad. All this came from right in there. All that flooring right there, that's where you had the flooring for the for his encampment. He estimates more than two dozen headstones were used as the floor of the camp. You could see that where they tore off the, the brass plate that was on the front and probably took that for salvage for money. You know, another sad situation. So how then can you find out where that actually goes? We can't. Over the bridge, more damage. Mausoleums with broken doors and windows. Rubbish left in piles. You see there's a guy, this guy. You can see there's a gentleman uh, laying down in this one. With damage and desecration to dozens of grave sites here on the cemetery, Beret is asking lawmakers to give them the authority to oversee the cemetery. That would allow them to trespass any homeless found on the property. But it's not that simple. It always comes down to having someone assert responsibility for the property. It's been in limbo since the owners died years ago. Beret created the nonprofit Friends of Sunset Memorial Park Cemetery, and they're seeking an emergency proclamation through the court. The leaders of the um, community met with um, Governor Ige a few uh, days ago, and he's instructed the Attorney General to help us obtain a court order to try and um, alleviate the, the health and safety uh, conditions there. I reached out to the AG's office and they declined to comment. The governor's spokesperson says that he doesn't disclose publicly what is discussed in private meetings. The Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs created a website to gather information from those who have family buried there or who purchased plots. Log on to KH12.com for a link to that site. All the records for the cemetery were destroyed in a fire. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.